Now, things have gotten so bad at public appearances for the president and vice president that appears they had to pipe in recorded cheers of thousands of people into an 80% empty stadium. Oh, listen to those hundreds of thousands of people. Listen to that. Crowd goes wild and and the, the crowd goes. The crowd. There's no crowd. Nancy Pelosi said too much this week when she was asked about ruling the world. It appears she's actually thought about it. Again, in fact, when people ask me, if you rule the world, what one thing would you do? I think about that a lot. Yeah, because uh, you're probably thinking, the first thing would be uh, get the other 99 Dalmatian pelts that I've been looking for, or maybe uh, go back to my house made of candy and cookies in the woods and fatten up children and eat them. Oh, oh. (laughs) Yeah, she's super creepy. There's also a certain age where technology becomes quite flummoxing, as in this Zoom conference call featuring... Texas Judge Roy Ferguson unable to remove a kitten face filter from his profile. I can hear you. I think it's a filter. It, in the... it is. And no, you're actually talking to a talking cat. Know how to remove it. Actually, I'm just identifying as a cat today. I've got my I was a woman yesterday. Assistant here, she's trying to, but... Uh... But Jen Saki said, I can compete with dogs in dog shows. I'm prepared to go forward with it. That's... I'm here live. It's not. I'm not a cat. I'm thinking his grandkids were playing with his computer before the call. I can. I can see that. Hey, you ready for some hot sake? We have been saying that it costs zero. So, are you now admitting that the plan does not cost zero, or is it less than zero? Well, l- let's let's not. Which is a great '80s movie. Dumb this down for the American public here. Is... I think she just kind of insulted the American public there. I could be wrong. The president and his wife were greeted on Christmas Eve with a phone call from a man who said, uh, let's go, Brandon. Yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful Christmas as well. Merry okay. Christmas, and let's go, Brandon. Let's go, Brandon. I agree. <laughs> guys, I hope you enjoyed the uh, highlights today. I wish you the very best in 2022. Lord knows I'm so glad to get rid of 2021. In the meantime, God bless you, uh, our first responders, police officers, our military veterans, and active duty service personnel, and of course, you, and until next year, don't catch the stupid.